All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. All right, now, so here's a quick video that was sent to me by my good friend Jennifer and Jennifer. Thank you for the video. Now, the video is of a frauditor who I honestly thought was out the picture a long time ago. But, oh, oh, boy, was I wrong. Now, uh, the frauditor in question is Katie Kidman. Katie Kidman. Now, keep in mind, guys, that I have much respect for seniors, much respect for females. But uh, when it comes to this one here, she has no respect for the public. I lose my uh, respect and the idea that she's a female, I throw that shit out the window, okay? I give them back the same shit they give the public. Uh, they treat the public like shit, I'm going to treat them like shit. Now, again, with this Katie Kitman, if you're familiar with her videos, okay, she was arrested numerous times at schools. Schools, damn it, which I've uh, mentioned in many of my videos. These knuckleheads that uh, want to go to uh, extreme locations because they know they're going to get the views, okay? Schools, they should know, is off limits, damn it. You don't harass uh, or go aim your cell phone at people's kids. There are people out there, let's just say, that are willing to take matters into their own hands. And I'm at that point, guys, that I agree with it, okay? Because as we all know, uh, these knuckleheads, they get arrested. Uh, they do a couple of months or whatever the case may be. And they're right back at the same bullshit, okay? It's either give them a few years or do something to the extreme that's going to make them think twice about doing this bull crap, okay? Now, again, I say with this lady here that, in my opinion, she's frauding to uh, supplement her uh, Social Security or SSI or, or disability uh, because, I mean, she, she ain't playing with a full deck. We're talking about a lady who lives in a van and roams around the area looking for anything that's public to go in there and make a few dollars. Now, I'm not knocking anybody that may be experiencing hard times and living in the vehicle but come on now she's in her late 60s it's not safe for a lady in that age bracket to be living in a damn van not to mention the fact that she looks for anything public to go in there harass people get people riled up so that she could throw them on your know, social media okay again i say there are people out there that don't play by the rules and i'm at that point guys that i agree with it because uh, the law it just, sometimes it just doesn't work. But uh, here she uploaded this video yesterday, her interaction with her probation officer, which I found very interesting. And um, uh, first of all, uh, the idea that she is on probation now and she's not supposed to be uploading videos, but yet the probation officer uh, swallowed the idea of uh, letting her record the interaction. Okay, but this was her first uh uh, I guess her first uh, meeting or whatever you want to call it uh, with her probation officer and you will hear the conditions and um, I took a, a snapshot uh, I took a nice zoom in on the uh, uh, probation officer's business card so let's keep our uh, let's keep an eye on her where we see her uploading videos of her harassing anybody well we already know her probation officer's name and number let's get into the damn video Oh, how are you? Good, how are you? Pretty good. All right. So, Ms. Carrillo, I'm just going to go. You've just been sentenced to probation. We don't usually record these, so we have to check a little bit, for, but for today, as long as everything's fine, you're good. Okay, okay. thank you. Perfect. So, I, like I said, I'm Ms. Carrillo. I usually do the misdemeanor intakes, so you are going to be assigned to me at the beginning. Okay. So, today, all I'm going to do is just give you an appointment card. For okay. our next um, appointment, okay. But I'm gonna go over because I couldn't fill out the papers because I I lost my glasses at the courthouse. Okay. So I have so, to go by get some so I can see and fill this out. Perfect. Yeah. So when you come for your appointment with me, yes, I put it out for Tuesday, of so the 13th, which is Tuesday at 3 p.m. Is that okay? Tuesday, next week. Yes, next week. Okay. 13th. Yes. Okay, so that day, can you bring that form with you? Yes. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So just, I'm going to go over some of the important terms. When we have our intake appointment, I'll go over everything in detail, and then I'm actually going to have you sign a few forms, okay? But as of right now, let's just go over the important ones, which is term number 10. Do not harm, threaten, molest, or annoy anyone and, or have any contact, especially with Aaron Josie. And then term number 29, 
stay away at least 100 yards from all Santa Maria and Lompoc schools slash district offices. Don't upload videos with minors slash schools. And then 30, Cal ECPA waiver. Leave any public place when asked to leave by employee or official. Don't upload videos. So just remember those terms. Like I said, when we meet again on Tuesday, we'll go over in detail a few more things and then um, we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna give you my appointment card. It has my name. You know that on that, on that paper right there that they're violating my First Amendment rights as an American citizen? Okay. So that's something that you're going to have to address with the court, okay? Yeah. Right. No, I'm appealing the case. Okay. Yes. All right. So this is going to be frozen as soon as the appeal is filed. All right. Well, just keep me updated when you go to court. It's probably going to be process. frozen before that appointment. Okay. If it happens, just give me a call and let okay. me know. Okay? okay. So my number is on there. Okay. But as of now, these are the terms that you have. Okay. okay. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Yeah. So let me just confirm with you before you leave. Your place of residence, where is it? In my van. Okay. Do you just park it depending wherever? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, I travel around. I'm a First Amendment auditor, but the judge is uh, stopping me from practicing my First Amendment rights. So okay. basically, I usually drive around from all over the country. Okay. From South Carolina to Florida to California. But they arrested me here for doing my job as a, an investigative reporter okay. on a public sidewalk. So I'm stuck here now and I'm no longer allowed to do my job. All right. So with everything that you believe that with your case, mm -hmm. you're going to have to address that with your attorney. Because what happens is now that you are on probation, we have these terms that we have to ensure for the court that you're following, okay? Mm -hmm. But in, so in regards to your place of residence, if you are, if you don't have stable place of residence, then every night you have to call me and let me know where you park because that's how we have to make sure that we stay in contact. So if you find some stability, let's say that you park somewhere for about a good week or if you stay somewhere for a week, that's perfect. Then you just let me know, hey, I'm going to be here for a week. And then um, you don't have to call me. Are you that. adding that to my thing over there? No, it's just how I ha need to have your report because you do have a That report. would be impossible because your police officers here stop me and I park somewhere. They give me a ticket. They make me move. I'd be calling you two or three times a night, so if you don't mind that. No, I don't mind. And then your number is this number that you listed And basically here? I park in the middle of nowhere, so I don't know how I'm going to be able to tell you an address or where I'm at or I mean. Yeah. Well, just do so what you guys are asking me to do is basically park my van in a corner somewhere and hide inside of it. Don't get out. Don't do my job. Don't report anything. Um, don't investigate any anybody that's that's corrupted or doing things wrong to children, and just let all that stuff go and let them continue. No, I'm asking you. That's to what this paper is telling me to do. Okay, so if you have any issues with any terms, just make sure you talk to your attorney. I'm just letting you know that. We need to know if you change your place of residence. So that's what we're addressing. I don't have a residence, so it can't, yeah, that's it can't be changed. Yeah, that's we And it's impossible for me to tell you where I park every night, so. Okay. I well, won't be we'll doing, have to address I won't that be able to do that. Okay, we'll All have right. to address that with the court. Okay. All right, so let me jump in here real quick, whereas I find it funny, all this debating that she's having here with the probation officer, why didn't she debate with the judge when the judge was sentencing her and um, throwing it at her, hey, you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't upload videos and so on. Why didn't you all debate it with the judge right there on the spot, okay? Because I think uh, we all know a lot of these frauditors, they know you talk shit to a judge, judges has that power to put you away. But no, you're going to debate with a probation officer, which they also have that right to uh, revoke your probation and throw you in a slammer. But uh, come on now, uh, you're violating her rights because she can't go out there and record people. And the idea that she uses the word investigate, she calls herself Betty Buttcrack or some shit like that. Uh, investigating reporter, really? Going to a public location and loitering, loitering into 
you get that individual uh, uh, bent out of shape and you get into an argument about this is public, you can't tell me to leave. And so how do you consider that being an investigative reporter? I mean, I would consider that a professional instigator, a professional troublemaker, okay? And I think you guys will agree with that. But I'm telling you guys, keep an eye on her because if anything, if I see a video uploaded uh, of her harassing, which uh, I did notice she put up a video, I think two videos uh, after this video, okay? But the next one I see, I'm going to be making phone calls to the probation officer, okay? Okay, she may be implying that she's going to appeal the process and so on, but how would that, okay? This lady needs to be put away for a while. Hey, let me know your thoughts on the video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Anyway, you guys made me homeless, so if you want me to have a, a permanent residence somewhere, maybe you should we contact... We can help you with housing. We can help yeah. you with housing. Oh, we'll talk about that at our interview. I've been acting, asking them about that for the last, what, 11 years? Okay, we can definitely help you with housing. We'll look into it. And I can definitely go over that at our intake. Um, just to confirm Because my number. public defender told me he was going to help me with that, too. And, oh, good. And he forgot already. So I hope you don't forget. No, I won't. So just to confirm your telephone number, is this 213? Yeah. It got cut off right here. All right. So how can you help me with housing? We have housing services. I'll give you a referral and all that Oh, stuff. no. I've, yeah. I've been through all of that already. They don't help you with anything. I thought you said you were going to do something directly. With housing? That's how we work with the housing. You give somebody a, a phone number? No, a referral. A referral yeah. to somewhere that, that doesn't do anything for the person? No, they do. I, I've, I've been to all those places. Okay. I put my name on their list. I've gone to These them. are probation places, so it's 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 not the same. It's different. It's different. Mm -hmm. This is for people that are on probation. It's a little different. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. So thank you for coming in and reporting as directed. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to complete your adult information sheet and bring it in with you to your appointment. Okay. And then I will talk to you in about a week. Okay. Do you have any questions? Now? No, I don't. Thank you very much. Of course. You're Marina.